Hey bosses, it's Nina. So in this video, I'm going to turn, I'm going to show you how to turn on your Skype for Business broadcast. Quick note about Skype for Business broadcast. This is made or was created for holding webinars, large trainings, more of um, kind of one to many type um, trainings and meetings, whereas Skype for Business was created more for conference calls, team collaborations, etc. I'll do a completely separate video on Skype for Business, the inner workings, how to set it up. Um, but in this instance, this is all for admins. So of course you have to have admin access to your Microsoft tenant. And you're gonna go up to your application launcher in your top left-hand corner, and you're gonna go ahead and click on admin um, after you log in, of course. Down here, you're just gonna go down to your settings and then you're gonna go to services and add-ins. And this is gonna be under Skype. You can search for it. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and search for Skype for business and click on Skype for business. Now, um, you, you'll wanna do this after you set up Skype for business, of course. And so these are all the settings that I have turned on for Skype for Business. I have this very open because this is an online school, my learnedit.online. And so I want my students to have access to everything. But what you're going to do is go down to where it says, don't see what you're looking for. And click on that last link. You're going to log in. Okay, and now here you'll see that you have all of your options um, for your Skype for Business. This is the actual admin center for Skype for Business. I'm going to go down to, I believe it's online meetings. Let me just make sure. Under online meetings, um, this is where you can set some of your default items like putting your URL, your help um, URL, all of the other information you want included on your meetings. I'm going to leave that blank and actually head over to broadcast meeting. Super duper simple. You're going to enable Skype meetings broadcast. Um, I'm going to go ahead and enable the preview setting features also. So my organization will get the preview um, settings. A couple of things that you're going to want to make a decision about is if you want to allow organizers to schedule anonymous meetings. And then also if you want the broadcast meetings to be recorded. Go ahead and enter um, your help desk support link there. I don't really have a help desk. It's just us. Anyone who has it um, is just going to have to um, use our internal portal. And maybe I'll put that there a little bit later. But super simple. You would just go ahead and check everything and then click on save. And then you have access to um, Skype for Business um, broadcast. So go ahead and head over to my next video all about how to schedule and host a Skype for Business um, broadcast meeting. And if you have any questions about Microsoft turning on some features, um, how to use Skype for Business or Office 365, please leave them below. Also, please watch these other videos that I have surrounding Microsoft. Thanks and have a great day. Ciao.